Hey there YouTube, so today I'm working on this little Dell um, thin client that I have here. It's a Weiss um, thin client with a 2.4 gigahertz quad core CPU. And what I've noticed, well, this, this video is just going to be about a little feature that I just found out. So in order to set up Linux on this, I had to change it to use a secure boot. And let me show you what I accidentally found out when... Um, when pressing some keys at during startup. Yep, as you can see here, this is this has a built-in stress test tool. So if you press uh, F12 as it's starting up with the secure boot on, it runs this nifty little um, uh, t stress tester, and uh, it's called the EPSA Preboot System Assessment. And it runs through a bunch of diagnostics. I mean, Dell, Dell laptops and some PCs have had this for a long time, but I've never seen it quite as, you know, elaborate as this one. It right now is running through some uh, CPU tests and memory tests. So the CPU took a while and now it's running through memory, as you can see here. And I also like how it's it's telling me that the temperatures for the, uh, the memory modules and the CPUs and um, and up here, this system has no fans, so all the fans are at zero RPM. Just waiting right now for the memory tests to finish. And once that is done, I am going to uh, show you what's underneath all these um, these tabs, because this is I'm literally doing this in real time because I haven't seen this before. All right, let me let me let me wait until this is done here, and then I'll uh, I'll continue. Okay, so this took a long, long time, probably about 10, 15 minutes and uh, for the first se series of tests. And now it is asking me if I want to go ahead and continue and spend 30 more minutes doing some additional memory tests, but I am not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to this and let's take a look through here. All right, hit okay. And as you can see here, it ran through cables, hard drive, OS, video card, CPU, system management, and memory. And um, kind of like how they have the little icons here. That's kind of cute. And over here, like I mentioned before, you can see now uh, it has a CPU uh, temperature uh, sensor. The probably some motherboard sensors throughout the motherboard, and then the memory. Memory. Um, it's funny. The memory is the hottest part, I guess, because it doesn't have any. Uh, it has a little shield on it, but not 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 too much uh, dissipation there. Configuration. Uh, as you can see here, I have a two forty gig SSD installed, and. You can see down here it tells you a little bit more about the, the the items that are plugged in to the let me see if I can scroll this for you guys and as you can see here it's got a an AMD GX 424 system on chip with a Radeon GPU built in and uh, that's a quad core uh, AMD APU and I this this little computer has two memory slots and I have four gigs on each uh, on each uh, slot As you can see here one is they're, they're not uh, matched correctly but it works and I believe you can put 16 gigs in this unit all right so let me take a look at the other tab here the results tab uh, okay so if you go all the way to the top here it checks cables. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hard drive, uh, OS boot path, USB hubs, video card, connection test. So I guess it just checks if devices are there. Uh, let me see the system health tab here. Oh, that's what we were looking at. And then event log. This is probably an event log from the BIOS. And there's nothing there. So yeah, I, I found that, what if you press F1 for help? Okay. 
EPSA and assures that system devices are functioning correctly. EPSA creates windows and controls for device selection and control. Okay. And um, it's the Dell EPSA hardware diagnostics from 2015. Yeah, I, I found this pretty cool. So if you have one of these thin clients, uh, try to put it in try putting it in a secure boot mode and press F12 um, several times as, it, as you power it on. And it should pop this up if it's a, a modern unit. So yeah, hopefully that, that was interesting. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, please subscribe and or leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you know if you know anything else about this com little computer, let me know. And uh, yeah, till next time.